Hey, Cornerstone family, I am here today with our young adults pastor, Pastor A.T. Gatlin, and we are in the middle of our 21-day fast. I hope it's going well for you. I hope you're finding strength in the Lord. I do want to remind you that a lot of times we don't experience breakthrough or see the change we're hoping for until the fast is done which means the journey of the fast can be challenging. It can be emotionally challenging, mentally challenging, and of course, physically challenging. And Pastor A.T. has come today with a word of encouragement as you walk through this season of fasting. Pastor A.T.? For sure. And I know firsthand whenever you're fasting, you're hangry. And (laughs) I just want to encourage whoever is out there, whether you're taking this dedication of fasting, the greatest ministry that I've ever graced this earth was Jesus's ministry. Yep. And Jesus too fasted before he ever done the miracles, before he ever raised the dead, before he had ever healed the sick, before he ever touched the lepers. He too went into a season of fasting yep. in the wilderness. Uh, one of the greatest accounts of the scripture is when he's baptized by his cousin John. And of course, there's that little dialogue between them two of who would baptize who. But of course, when Jesus is baptized, there's the Trinity on full display. The sky splits. Yeah. The spirit descends like a dove. And uh, in one of the gospel accounts, it says the dove descended and remained. Yep. Which I thought that was just so interesting that he lived his life in such a way that the dove not only descends, but it remains. And when you are in this fasting season, we have to remember that as we are going in this uh, inconvenience, when we're going through this hangry season, we have to remember that we're not alone. Right. And that the Spirit is not only with us, but He is resting on us. Yes. And just like Jesus did in the wilderness, it says that the Spirit compelled Him into the wilderness, which I found that so interesting, that when you are in the midst of, of, of trouble, when you're in the midst of uh, questioning, when you're in the midst of sometimes impatience, we have to remember that we're not alone in it, Right. that the Spirit is with us, and He is compelling us into the wilderness. Uh, just because you're in the wilderness season does not mean that you've done something wrong. It doesn't mean that you have wronged the Lord. It just simply means sometimes you are led into the wilderness. Yeah, and you... you speak of that as it pertains to fasting. And I think one one thing you said that is so valuable is that you aren't fasting alone. Right. The Spirit of the Lord is helping you to fast. And if you're challenged with it right now, petition the help of the Holy Spirit, right? right? Now, you mentioned something to me before we started recording about what the Father said. When Jesus was baptized, would you yes. like to just share a little on that? Uh, when the Father spoke to Jesus, he said, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I'm well pleased." That affirmation of heaven was placed on Jesus. I mean, and how much more do we need that, right? When God the Father looks at you, uh, just remember in this fasting season, it's not necessarily about what you're going to receive after. It just simply means that you're having a deeper revelation of who you are and who you belong to. Yeah. And when his seal of affirmation, when he says, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, just know also, not only do you have the comforter of the Holy Spirit, but you also have the affirmation from heaven saying that I've chosen you, I have equipped you, I've empowered you, but amongst all of those different things, you are his. Right. You are his. I I love in that text, and you alluded to it in our previous conversation, that the Lord affirmed him before he ever fasted and Mm -hmm. before he ever did ministry. And I think I think fasting needs to be done from the place not of earning the Lord's favor or affirmation, but from the place of knowing I'm already living in it. Like if if you're fasting to earn. Mm. Man, the to me, the fasting gets more difficult. For sure. Absolutely. As opposed to he's he loves me. He's with me in this. Mm. He's pleased with me in this. Like he's already chosen me in this. You know, I don't want the fast to become this thing where you feel like you're trying to earn something from the Lord. Right. We're offering it to the Lord, mm. right? It's our worship. Yes. Sure. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before we go? I Honestly, I don't think that there's much more to say besides just walk away with you feeling encouraged that 
in the midst of all of this, you are seen by the Father, you are loved by the Father, and you're going to go on to do great things. I mean, just understand that even in the midst of all of the fasting that Jesus had done, I mean, look at the ministry that he had afterwards. So just understand that the Lord has some things prepared for you out of this fast and even during the fast. Absolutely. Well, we want to encourage you on what Pastor A.T. said. The Holy Spirit is helping you. He is leading you through this into a wilderness time. It is a time of wilderness. It is a time of of, of difficulty. It right. is a challenge. But his hand of favor is on you. He affirms you. He picks you. Yes. And so you can do this. You can excel in this fast. You can do everything in that you set your heart out to do. And I think that would be what I'd end with. Whatever you set out to do in the beginning, the Lord will help you do it. Mm-hmm.